And hello everyone, Lights and Gear is back. And I have one of the lights from Sofern to talk about, which is the Q8 Pro. As you can see on the side of the box here, the Q8 Pro, uh, as at least as of this uh, recording of the video, has uh, been out for a little bit, but um, is making a splash within the Sofern light community because it does mirror the kind of flashlight that was originally produced by the folks at Budget Light Forum and this was their version of the Q8 which uh, goes back a few years at this point and used Endural firmware and uh, I did a version or rather a review of this light back back when as well and actually Sofern had already had a version of the Q8 but now they have the Q8 Pro and that basically means that it now uses Endural 2 firmware. So the uh, original um, Endural has been updated a little bit with um, a couple of um, added conveniences and so forth. But anyway, uh, you can check out um, videos of this light back, um, back a ways. But basically, uh, this is the box here, of course, for the new Sofern. Uh, I have taken the contents out of the box and the light is right here and side by side you can see that they are uh, for the most part identical and here you can see Q8 Pro right there and um, for the most part they do have similarities um, in f actually in front of me I don't remember what the LEDs are in the BLF so I do apologize but as far as the Sofern is concerned it uses four H um, XHP 50.2 LEDs and it's cool white at about 6500 K so that's what you're getting here in the Sofern and as you can see with the BLF on the other side it's um, has a similar LED pattern and the Sofern is 11,000 lumens the BLF is about half that so anyway let's put the uh, the BLF to bed as we focus on the Sofern which is USB-C rechargeable and there's your port right there and among the accessories that it comes with is of course a handy dandy manual which will explain everything you well pretty much everything you need to know and here is your USB-C charging cable and it also has uh, some spare o-rings and a spare switch cap there are actually three if you look at the Sofern website they have like three different packages available for the light what I got was the second package because it also included batteries which the first basic package does not and then with the third package they added a heavy-duty uh, holster and um, a diffuser I believe so with each package they gave a couple of extra accessories but anyway um, here's what you see inside the light with the three batteries and of course you've got the uh, the inner workings here within the head the batteries they give you are of course so ferns why would they not be and these are 3000 mAh 18650s you can use any 18650s in the light. You can use uh, the popular um, um, orange 30Qs, uh, which I have used in them as well before the Samsungs, and they work fine. They're flat top, and they work just as well in the light too. So um, any choice of 18650 should be okay with the Q8 Pro. You have some nice uh, threading here and also of course within within the head the overall sizing these are uh, very well uh, lubricated too I might add uh, the sizing of the light in case you're wondering it is 5.2 inches in length or height and 2.3 inches wide at the widest part of the bezel here it's not a lightweight light. It is a hefty little sucker at one pound five ounces. So it weighs. So they don't actually mention impact resistance. 
but um, I'm sure it would withstand uh, it, it would probably withstand a heavy fall but it's going to fall hard when it does and um, it has a um, beam distance uh, I'd have to check my manual on that uh, what the beam distance is I believe it's uh, 400 meters and I did mention that it's 11,000 lumens as the top output and it has uh, two different operating um, modes the default when you first turn it on will be in stepping mode and then of course you can change to uh, ramping if you so desire it's in ramping right now because I changed it and to change it back and forth from one to the other you just click three times and then it will oops sorry I missed that three times and then it will change to the other interface or the other mode rather so when it's in stepping mode it comes as uh, defaulted with seven steps and uh, which uh, I kind of like and um, you know every time you press the button it either goes up or down and you've got the lowest of the low right here in moonlight and then uh, with seven steps going up to the top four five so <laughs> seven is uh, actually almost too bright to show you it's uh, so incredibly bright and of course you won't get the full feeling of it on the camera but uh, it is brighter than bright and I do have it set so when it goes on the highest mode on turbo it will actually be on turbo and of course you can regulate how high it goes you can regulate the number of steps you want and you can regulate the ceiling as it were as to how bright it actually gets to when it reaches the top you can regulate that and you can regulate how low it goes to the floor for the lowest mode so all of that is customizable and everything the light does is customizable you can change any setting at all you can have uh, SOS enabled you can have SOS disabled um, virtually anything it does including the light here on the um, on the switch you can change that I have this set to low right now but you can have it set to off low high and blinking so any one of those settings you can change the switch to and when you do turn the light on and start ramping it up the brightness of the switch also increases so there are lots of different settings of course as you can possibly um, imagine with the USB charging of course you will plug the uh, cord into the side and as soon as you do so the switch will be blue and it will flash and then when it's finished charging it'll turn green and here's a funny thing that it actually does this uh, goes orange from time to time and you know what I have not seen anything in the manual or within the uh, Enduro firmware instructions as to why it does that if somebody happens to know you can leave something in the comments if you happen to know why it turns orange like this from time to time um, it's only when it's gone through a series of clicks and has been used that it, that it does this and then after a little bit it will disappear there you go <laughs> right on cue disappear but anyway um, I haven't seen anything to show why why it uh, why it actually does that now there are actually two user interfaces one of them is basically called easy and the other one is advanced and there is um, there are rather a couple of um, different schematic diagrams that you can look at one of them is right here in the manual which shows how to work how to work it on the easy interface and then there's another one within my uh, written review to which the link is below and you can take a look at that and view the whole scheme both the simple and uh, and the advanced user interface are available there but that's just kind of a brief snapshot as to what is pressed where and what to get to what particular um, 
result, you know. There are several modes or several flashing modes. There are blinky modes and there are strobe modes. And this is basically the same with all Endural firmware lights. As I say, this is Endural 2, so there are a couple of differences here, but uh, for the most part, it bears um, a lot of resemblance to the first Endural fir firmware design. So with, um, with the Blinkies, if I can see what I'm looking at here, you get the battery check mode, the lockout mode, um, you can switch to the advanced UI and uh, you can also check what version firmware or version software the light has. That's within the simple UI. Those are also available within the advanced, but then only on the advanced are a few more strobe modes. So you have your strobe modes here, which I have detailed in a couple of a couple of previous videos, which have featured the, the firmware, and they're also mentioned on my website. But you have uh, candle mode and bike flash, and the party strobe and the tactical strobe, and the lightning storm mode. And then there's also a thermal configuration, and that would basically there's a, a temperature check. It'll also, of course, give you the voltage of the battery. And it will also, there's also a lockout mode. So you can, of course, lock it out so it doesn't accidentally switch on. So pretty much anything you want to do with the light you can. Uh, one of the things within the blinky modes, which I didn't mention, is a momentary mode. And that's kind of interesting once you... Uh, uh, once you set it to that and actually once you lock it out it also goes into a momentary mode too once it's locked and um, I can show you that here quickly uh, to lock it out you just click it four times now it's locked out and the only thing it does when I press the button is flash moonlight in, in sort of a tactical setting a momentary setting and that's when it's locked out and then one two three four to unlock it and here it goes again this time with the colored uh, this time it's got green and uh, an orange here and a little bit different a configuration than I had a couple of minutes ago kind of interesting let's um, take the light outside here and let me show you because showing it indoors actually you know it does pretty much nothing to show you the brightness indoors so let me show you the outdoor pics here that I took a bit ago and you'll get a better feeling of it that way you got a pretty good idea of what the Sofern Q8 Pro can do outside from taking a look at those. Um, this is uh, one hell of a flashlight as you can see. It's not for the faint of heart or somebody who just wants a flashlight to poke around with and uh, do a one, pre a one button press on and off with. However you basically can do that with this light. You can certainly turn it on and turn it off but uh, it's far more noteworthy for all the settings and the features and everything else that it does to sort of just consider it an on, an on and off flashlight. Uh, now, of course, if you'd like to pick one up, there is a link below. It was um, furnished by my friends at Sofern to demonstrate to you today. And uh, you can visit the full review of this one at Lights and Gear. The link is below in the description. And I thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.